second. Tattoo Artist, fourth. A Buck of Hanover, third. Alley Wag Hanover, the winner. Tor Rossi, tenth. Luz Perlman, ninth. Confederate, eighth. And Line Drive Hanover, seventh. Six, five, two, four, three, one, ten, nine, eight, seven. One, forty nine, and one. Once again, Dave Little in the winner's circle. I'm joined by Tim Tietrich. Confederate calls it a career. 18 wins, 22 lifetime starts this year, 13 out of 15. What can you say? How, of all the great horses that you've driven, where does Confederate rate? Oh, right up there. He's a cool dude, man. He's, uh, they're hard to find those kind, and it's very hard to replace them. And um, he, he's been very special in my heart, for that's for sure. Fastest three-year-old in history, Tim, 146 and one. Did I read somewhere that you thought he could have gone faster that day? Oh, he could have. Yeah, the last two or three pylons, he was just floating. Um, I didn't think we were going to get that close to it, or otherwise I'd have pulled his plugs. But, uh, you know, he's a great horse. Everybody knows that he went under the wire strong that day, and, you know, he made up a lot of ground, and he's still the fastest three-year-old ever, so that says something. You know, he raced awfully good off a helmet, yet in the Meadowlands pace, you didn't get any help, and he went right by them all. Uh, like, they, like they, He really outclassed them. Oh, he did. You know, they had speed in front, and, um, you know, he come first up and did his work. You know, he was fresh, and, um, you know, Brett had him great that day, and he, he's been great all year. You know, today he had a little hiccup, but it's tough against those five, six, seven-year-old war horses. And, he, you know, he's, he still got beat, but he raced good. He raced hard. I was bad drive, 26 to third quarter, trying to get, you know, in the race and had to go wide to get into the race on the first turn. So, you know, nine holes are tough. Sometimes they're daggers, you know. Breeders' crown, the rain comes. Did you say, oh, shoot, what's going to happen now? You know, I didn't think about it. I went on the track, trusted my horse, and he felt super, and he raced it just like he did and come first up, and, you know, he buried him that day. You know, today he just had a little off day, and, you know, I can't say enough good things about this horse, and hopefully some of his babies turn out great too. Speaking of his babies, what is the best attribute that Confederate has as a racehorse that he'll hopefully pass on to his progeny? Well, he's smart as a whip. Um, he's got a great mind. He loves to race. Um, he, he's quick as a cat, and he's, uh, he's a great animal. I think that'll pass on, and, you know, he's light on his feet. He's good gated, and, you know, I, I can't say enough good things about him. Confederate calls it a career. This guy drove him to many of his great, great victories. Tim Teacher, congratulations. Thank you very much.